So we're gonna start out with your foot on some sort of surface, either a chair or a box. You're gonna take your hands, and you're gonna face them out to the side. So if your left foot is on the box here, you're gonna point your fingers off to the left here, and you're gonna grip on, just nice and light here. And you're just gonna take up the slack of the skin by spinning towards the inside. So since I was pointing towards the left, I spin towards the right here, take up the slack of the skin. Then you're gonna find like right here, there's a bone there that your fingers kind of end up, and then you're gonna just squeeze a little harder to kind of get a grip on that bone and spin it and just get a little bit of that rotation. That's that internal rotation. Then you're just gonna rock forward onto that front foot. And I would do this on a stable surface here. And make sure the knee is not falling in and also make sure the foot isn't going out like this. So the foot should be straight forward. If anything, you should try to err towards moving the knee out towards the outside of the foot there. After this, you're gonna set up with your foot on some sort of surface. Try a little bit higher for this one. And then what you're gonna do is just rock your weight onto that foot. You can let the heel come up with this one. Try and get your butt to the heel here, and then just wobble your knee left and right here. Try to get that wobble equal amount towards the left and the right, and then come out of it. So the full motion is you rock forward, left, right, wobble, and come out of it. After that, what you're gonna do is take a seat. You're gonna put your same side arm underneath the leg here. Take the opposite hand. Find the bone right below the patellar tendon. So if you find the kneecap, then you're gonna find the tendon just below that. Then just below that, you're gonna find the bone right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna toe in with the foot. And you're gonna feel that bone move towards the inside. When you do that, you're gonna extend the knee, come back down, then rotate out, and do the same thing. So now we're working on controlling that range of motion, just like that. Next, we're gonna control the range of motion from the top down by getting into a half kneeling position, taking off the shoe, Knee straight over the toe here. Make sure you have equal weight bearing on the inside ball of the foot and outside ball of the foot. Let the knee fall outwards without the inside ball of the foot coming up and keeping the pelvis straight forward. Then you're gonna let the knee fall in without the outside ball of the foot falling up. And the full motion is just like this. You're gonna feel when you bring the knee out that the inside arch here it's actually going to rise up, and that's a sign that you're doing it correctly. 